Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. alaikum, my dear students. My name is Kamran Mir, and today we will be studying. Uh, we will be discussing about geographical information system, which is normally referred as uh, GIS. So let us see its brief uh, definition first. This is an introductory course, which will give you a brief introduction about geographical information and system which is very popular nowadays it's a multidisciplinary like thing uh, which is being used in many fields like education like history in military in agriculture in geology and it's almost all the fields in which in which it is being used so what is gis a gis helps people to visualize and the create the information that can be used to make decisions and solve problems. So, as you all of uh, as you all uh, know, that visualizing things makes the things more easy when you visualize anything. And if you read anything, and if and if you visualize as compared to, so visualizing that when you visualize. So you understand in a more bet better way. So you can better make the good decisions. So it is an introduction, introductory course, which will give you the basic, it will tell you all about, I will be discussing about the basic components of GIS and the fundamental things, the concepts behind the GIS. We will also see if we can, um, we'll try uh, if we can like, uh, use it practically so let us start our presentation introduction to GIS so in this we will cover the GIS fundamentals how to navigate a GIS map and the practical aspect I will recommend uh, I will give you the link and uh, to download the software which you can uh, practice at home uh, later as well if you see the statistics you can look here according to the recent report by the devx us 8 and the dis says that the geospatial technology is one of the most preferred career choice amongst the youngsters it's the first one which is around 46 percent and 31% is for the big data and 26% is for the cloud computing and followed by the artificial intelligence. So, did, so it is one of the interesting uh, career as well in next generation technologies. So let us look about its fundamentals. So basically GIS Systems they are used by the organizations all over the world to visualize the real world features. For example, if they want to see the number of buildings, their branches on the map, and if they want to see the the customers on the map, the students on the map, their employees on the map. So it will help the organization to find patterns based on different attributes. So they can analyze the change and turn the raw data into a actionable information. What, what is it for? To make a better decision. So in this lecture, we'll try to understand the key concepts which underlie the GIS technology. So the objectives of this lecture will be after this lecture you will be able to define the GIS you will be able to differentiate between vector and raster data how to navigate a GIS map and different tools which are used to access the information feature of information and what is the difference between the location query and an attribute query Softwares which you can use are 
ArcGIS desktop, desktop or ArcGIS online. So coming to the brief definition, what is GIS? Basically, it's a software as the name speaks. GIS is a geographical information system. If you need to ask a room of 20 people, what is GIS, you may get a different definition. But the most important thing in it is it is all about location. Even if you see your real life, if you analyze your like whole day, you make a lot of decisions. And in all of your decisions, location is very important factor. For example, if you are making a decision to go out and eat some burger, so definitely, do you think there is a location aspect in it? Yes, definitely. And it's naturally, you you will not consider it, maybe, uh, but it is by default you, you will take the decision based on location because for example if you want to eat burger from any brand for example KFC or McDonald or any other brand maybe so there are so many outlets so definitely you will go to the outlet which is nearby which is in your reach so it is your location based decision while you are hiring a taxi you are calling a car to carpool so it is very logical and definitely the car which is near to you that will be assigned not the one which is far away so the location is the by default it's in the nature you might have heard the law of geography which says that everything is this in this universe are related with each other but the things which are closer they are more related so it's the nature of geography it is not possible that you are in a desert and at once you will see the high rise mountains and you are in the, on the high rise mountains and suddenly the sea comes so this is against the nature there is a symmetry in the nature everything which is nearby that is more related though everything in this universe is related to each other with each other nothing is in isolation every system is interconnected just like our body just like a human system just like a system of a country just like a system of this world just like like a system of this whole universe so everything is interconnected somehow but the things which are closer just like if you go to China you will not see like a lot of diversity in terms of the height of the those humans or in terms of the speaking in terms of the color when you go to the Africa so the trend met the trend will change when you, when you will go to the Europe, so the trend will change again. So this is the law of geography. So basically, geographical information system is all about the location thing. It highlights, it revolves around the location attribute. And based on that location, you can make a lot of good decisions, a lot of good visualizations. So let us see its brief definition. So the systems that analyze the data, they find the patterns and access the trends in order to answer the questions and make decisions. Let us watch this video. I'm not sure if this will work or not. So it's a, it is all about the geographical information system. I will send you the link which so that you can watch it later maybe 
so let us talk about the components of gis in gis there are what major four to five components which you can categorize the first one is data which is very important without having data you cannot do any any analysis first of all you have to have a data the locational data especially the data having the location information and the second aspect is the software on which you will load your data analyze your data and perform different kinds of actions and the software will only can only run on hardware you can have you can you cannot run the software without hardware so the third important component is the hardware your physical computer your server the software could be the desktop one it could be the online you have the hardware you have the software but you should have you must also have the data to process it and beside these three things what you need you need a user to perform the things and a workflows the people mean the user who will use this gis software and the workflows will define your requirement your overall work scenario so what you want to do so what is the data in gis as i already told that the data is all about the most important thing in this data is location and in gis the location means your latitude and longitude just like if you are very new the gis you may remember when you were in schools or maybe in your secondary school level or even after that in your mathematics subject you used to have a graph paper what is the graph basically graph you divides your paper in rows and columns and there are a number of boxes so that you can locate the exact point if i say 2 comma 2 2 is x the value of x is 2 and the value of y is 2 so you can from starting point you will go horizontally and vertically two points on both sides so points where they will intersect that will be the point of x and y similarly what the researchers or the geographers what they did when they map the whole world on a paper so they drew a lot of lines horizontally and vertically so any location in this world has a point has a location of x and y which in contextual term we call it latitude and longitude so any data which we are going to use has the two components one of the component is the spatial component spatial we write it like s p a t i a l as you can see in the screen now the special it is spatial spatial is uh, like from the space the word of space having locational data so it is all about the location so data has two parts like its spatial component and it is attribute component so the any building its location will be its spatial component in the name of it and any other information related to it it will be the attribute information so the location information is answering the question of where and the other information the name and the related details is answering the question of what so guys see you in the next video thank you very much for watching this short video thank you very much allah bless